My presentation is on blind image deep learning based on deep networks. We show how to solve problem by learning realistic blurring. Image deep learning is a classical problem in computer vision. Given a blurred image, the goal is to recover a sharper version of the original image by removing the blurs. Traditional deep learning method handles this problem by estimating a blurred kernel. A sharper version of the input blur image can be recovered through that kernel. Most current deep learning based methods focus on training a deep learning model using blurred and sharp pairs. However, many common effects are not adequately captured by current deep learning models. In real world scenarios as shown in the top formula, an image is captured during a time window. A blurred image is in fact an integration of multi-frame instances and sharp snapshots. On the other hand, in conventional deep learning method, the blurry images used in training are often synthesized by optimizing an integration step with a simple averaging operation, as shown in the bottom formula. In this paper, we propose a method which contains a learning to blur GAN and a learning to deblur GAN module. There are two complementary processes, in the sense that one module learns to mimic the properties of real-world blurries by generating photometric realistic blurry images. The other module learns to recover sharp images from these blurry images. We further employ uh, relativistic blurry loss to measure the relative difference between a real blurry image and a synthesis of blurry images. This is our proposed framework and training process. In this framework, there are B GAN and the DB GAN. The D and the G denote the discriminator and the generator networks. The B GAN takes a sharp image as input and output realistic blurry images. Then, these blurry images are fed into the DB GAN to learn how to deblur. During the inference stage, only the DB GAN is applied. This is an illustration of the realistic blurry loss. Real and synthesis images are labeled as 1 and zeros. Fig 1 is the previously used loss function, and the fig B is the proposed realistic blurry loss. Instead of optimizing the absolute difference between the synthesis and the real images, we optimize the relative differences between them. As a result, it can not only increase the probability that a generated image look real, but also simultaneously decrease the other probability that real images are real. Different blurry images are used to model the different type of real-world blurries, as shown in C. In these slides, the top formula is the proposed loss for image blurring, the bottom one is the proposed loss for image deblurring. This is our synthesis blurry image. The first column shows the, image, the sharp images, and the next three columns are the generated blurry images. In these slides, we show examples of deblurry images generated by different models. The first column shows the input blurry image, and the next three columns are are the deep learning images produced by dbGAN minor, dbGAN, and dbGAN plus. The dbGAN minor is trained without the relativistic blurry loss. The dbGAN only contains the process of learning to deblur, and the dbGAN plus is a full model. In order to compare the state of art, we report the result of different methods on the GoPro dataset. The first column shows the input blurry image. The next two columns are the deblurring image produced by two state of art deblurring methods. And the last column shows our result. Here we compare our method on real world blurry images. Our world produced more sharper results. 